you know, I'm sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of all these people saying, oh, the towers couldn't have collapsed. Jet fuel burns a thousand degrees cooler than steel melts. Yeah? Well, that may be true. But what about the rivets? What temperature do they melt at? And steel might melt at 2,000 degrees, which is what they said last week. Now they're saying 2750. But it becomes malleable at a much lower temperature. And this guy just now said, oh, well, the fuel will burn off in seconds. Well, only if the entire wing was ripped open. If it just got ripped off and it was leaking slowly out of a hose, it could last quite some time. I mean, I was on a plane for 14 hours and I didn't run out of fuel. So, enough. Now, whether or not that actually made the towers collapse was another matter. I mean, the simple fact of the matter is you had people all around that refused to evacuate, that couldn't evacuate, that were stupid, and you had thousands of lives and billions of dollars in property versus, you know, maybe a few hundred in the basement of the Twin Towers. And they're saying, well, they dynamited the building. Yeah, maybe they did. And they couldn't tell the public because, yeah, they sacrificed a few lives to save a few other lives. It was the right thing to do. It sucks, but it was the right thing to do. And I am just sick and tired of hearing about this again and again and again. I am so sick of it. And... You, they said, oh, well, you could, you could see it on the news. You could see the flashes. Yeah, well, I was watching the news. No, you can't. You can't see it on the news. I don't know, what, I don't know who said that. Uh, I was watching. And then there's other people that say that it didn't happen at all. Yeah, it didn't happen at all. I was in New York City, and my girlfriend was at the towers. It fucking happened.